As part of its drive for modernization, the Philippine Army is taking strides to procure man-portable air defense systems, manpads, with the aim of bolstering its currently limited air defense capabilities. These portable systems play a crucial role in safeguarding vital installations such as the Presidential Palace and other key facilities. The acquisition project, slated to acquire 10 units for the Philippine Army, is allocated funds from its investment budget for the fiscal year 2024, totaling PHP 381,621,000. While details regarding the procurement method and the selected supplier are pending confirmation, this endeavor underscores the Army's dedication to fortifying its defenses against airborne threats. Manpads represent indispensable military assets, offering compact and mobile air defense capabilities that enable individuals or small teams to intercept low-altitude aerial targets like aircraft and helicopters. By providing close protection for ground forces, convoys, and critical infrastructure, manpads enhance the agility and responsiveness of armed forces against airborne threats. Their role as deterrence and their synergy with heavier air defense systems are pivotal for military security. However, their effectiveness hinges on proficient operator training and diligent maintenance. Historically, the Philippine Army has grappled with a deficiency in air defense capabilities, relying on anti-aircraft guns inherited from the United States post-World War II, which have since been decommissioned. Presently, the Army lacks a dedicated air defense system, apart from a limited number of manpads held by the Presidential Security Group, PSG, a unit within the armed forces of the Philippines. Previous endeavors to procure new manpads under the Horizon 2 phase of the AFP modernization program fell through, prompting a reassessment and the introduction of a separate initiative for a short-range air defense system, SHODES, under the Horizon 3 phase, commencing in 2023. This particular undertaking seeks to swiftly outfit the Army with air defense systems, starting with manpads, and integrate them into designated Army units tasked with air defense responsibilities in the future. The urgency and necessity of this acquisition, despite the limited number of units and without waiting for the SHORADS project of the Horizon 3 phase, are unmistakable. Among the models under consideration for this project are the MBDA Mistral 3, already in use by the Philippine Navy, the Raytheon FIM-92 Stinger, employed by the Philippines Treaty Ally, the United States, the Lignex-1 Chiron from South Korea, the Thales Starstreak MK-2, preferred by the British Armed Forces, and the Mesco Pyron NG from Poland, an enhanced version of the Grom missile. These models were previously evaluated during the Horizon 2 phase, and their selection for this new project is yet to be determined. This initiative represents a pivotal stride in the Philippine Army's modernization drive, aimed at reinforcing its defense capabilities in response to contemporary security imperatives. The eventual selection of manpad systems will align with the Army's specific requirements concerning mobility, effectiveness, and the safeguarding of critical national infrastructure against airborne threats.